How about security? For most of us, for sure with AWS, secure, security is the number one priority. You drop everything if you believe you have an issue there. And IoT is still, though, a relatively new medium. And I think a lot of us remember about a year ago the DDoS attack on Dyn that took down big chunks of the internet. And when they went and did the investigation, what they found was it was a number of uh, connected devices that just weren't locked down right. So it's something that all of us need to be thinking about as we're deploying large numbers of devices. Now, AWS IoT Core, which is our core IoT service, allows you to, to pretty simply handle the security for a single device. But again, when you have lots of devices with a lot of diversity, that's much harder. And so we're pleased to announce a service coming in early 2018, which is called AWS IoT Device Defender, which will define and enforce security policies for fleets of devices. And so as I mentioned, it's pretty straightforward to handle the security of a single device. But when you're managing large fleets, it's much harder. And so Device Defender does a few things for you, a couple things in particular. One is it audits and monitors your entire fleet of devices for adherence to stated security and compliance policies or best practices. So it allows you to tell us, here are some of our compliance policies. We want these to be adhered to. Or we have 14 best practices policies that you can choose to use, and we'll alert you if one of them isn't being met. So for instance, you can imagine, you know, one of the best practices is not sharing certs across devices. And you could imagine somebody's, you know, putting a new device online, they accidentally use the same cert as somebody else. Device Defender will catch that and alert you to that so you can fix it. Or you may have a stated policy that I don't ever want a certification in use that's going to expire in less than 30 days because you want to risk that it'll expire before you catch it and it'll bring your application down. Device Defender can alert you to that as well. And the second big thing that Device Defender does is it monitors your entire fleet for abnormal behavior that might indicate a potential security issue. So Device Defender lets you effectively tell us what is your expected behavior? What ports do you want open? Where do you expect traffic from? Where do you want to send traffic to? And then it'll let you know if something is off. If, if there's a port open that shouldn't be open, or if it looks like you're sending data um, to a malicious IP address, or see some kind of spike that might be a DDoS, Device Defender will alert you to all of this. So this is, will be a big step forward in handling security of lots of devices.